How do you construct a television station from the ground up? 120,000 square feet, 400 employees, 1 million feet of cable, 20,000 signal connections. Demands that would add up to nothing less than an engineering feat. And the best part, it all had to be done in 10 months. Hi, I'm CBS 3's Alicia Lane. In March of 2006, CBS 3 began planning its move from our home on Independence Mall to a new location in the city. At the same time, we decided to instrument a full conversion over to high-definition television. It would be the first time in the country this was attempted, and our team of engineers knew they had quite a job to do. KYW TV is the first television station in the nation to build, from the ground up, an entirely high-definition facility. All of the signals are transmitted in this plant at 1.5 gigabit a second. For Director of Broadcast Operations and Engineering Rich Pileski, the good news was the new space for the station was essentially a blank slate, 100,000 square feet of what used to be a factory floor. But the space was also the project's biggest liability, trying to figure out how to successfully configure a television station in the two-acre space. In any instance where we had to get a signal all the way across the floor, if there was a run that exceeded 300 feet, we had to allow for additional equipment to be able to reprocess that signal to make sure that it was technically correct when it got to the other end and usable. But a big advantage to the space was the ability to add raised floors to house all the cables and wires required in a state-of-the-art television station. Now, if you look below, you'll see a two-foot raised floor. That keeps the plants nice and tidy. You need at least two feet in a modern television station so that you can route your signals properly. The raised floors also allow for expansion, a key demand for engineers in this project. It's very important to have the flexibility in a television station, especially a television station that does news gathering, to rewire your plant and add uh, additional signals. The end result? A state-of-the-art television station with two control rooms, two studios, and the latest in high-definition technology. Inside the studio, cameras are controlled robotically from a neighboring control room. And everything is in HD. There is nearly $25 million worth of equipment tucked inside this hub of hard drives and wires, all of it designed to work seamlessly. What you're looking at here, these five racks, are an isolated LAN with no PCs and no users. The only thing connected to this LAN are machines. Machines with IP connections on them that need to communicate with other machines with IP connections. Power supply was just one of the challenges faced in this project. In addition to multiple sources from Pico, we also have access to 650 kilowatts of UPS power for all technical loads. Sustainable power is paramount in our newsroom, where responding to natural and man-made disasters is part of our job. We added our own systems. We have a large UPS system that can run the entire television station, newsroom included, for in excess of uh, 30 minutes. We also have our own 2 million watt generator uh, that uh, can power the entire facility for several days. Another challenge with a facility this large, cooling the space, particularly with countless pieces of equipment that require extra cooling. And to make things more complicated, the sensitive audio equipment in use required a silent system. To solve that problem, CBS3 engineers used large venting systems. At uh, first glance, you look at them, they seem really just incredibly large, uh, almost uh, like it's a mistake. But it was very carefully engineered because if you can't have high velocity air, you have to push a large volume of air to be able to get the cooling that you need. CBS3 Eyewitness News. All of the design and planning came to fruition on April 2nd of this year when we broadcast our first newscast from our new home. Larry. You are looking at our CBS3 Technical Operations Center, TOC for short. This is where we get not only local stories, but live pictures via satellite from around the country and around the world. As we've been telling you, we're now broadcasting from 1555 Hamilton Street, which is right at the corner of 16th and Spring Garden. Let's give you a quick high-tech tour of TOC. The most exciting thing is all this video you see up here, all of these monitors are now coming to you in HD. We are one of the first newsrooms in the country to broadcast entirely in HD. When the crews come back from the field, they're not bringing tapes anymore, they're bringing these, discs. And listen to this. Once these discs are loaded into the system, they are available to everyone in the newsroom. 
every producer, every writer in the newsroom then has instant and simultaneous access to that video on their PCs. In fact, there are over 600 computers in the station, so we can bring breaking news to you faster than ever before. And like any television station, one of the biggest demands on our system is the amount of video. Every day we ingest more than 100 hours of video, and it's all kept right here on our shared storage system. The nice thing about using digital tape is that it can be archived, we can store metadata with it, and it's searchable. So at any time in the future, if you want to look at video that aired two or three years ago, you can search it and recall it. All of the advancements add up to a scalable first-class design for a 21st century television station. It's the first not only for this television station, it's a first for any station in the country. We really were the first in the country to be fully high definition. Being the first all high definition station in the nation, KYW continues its long tradition of television engineering innovation. Thank you CBS3 engineers for the excellent job you continue to do to allow us to bring the best product to our viewers. I've been in the broadcast business for 54 years and I've never known two smarter guys than Rich Pileski and Mark Musgrove when it comes to sorting it out, looking at the big picture and doing the right thing. When I had my interview long ago to come to KYW CBS. I dreamed about where I was going to work. I dreamed about it. I came and finally my dream has come true after 20, almost 23 years here at this wonderful station. I look forward to coming into work every single day and this is one of the reasons why the building that we are in and the people that I work with our engineering department has done an outstanding job. Thank you, CBS3 engineers, for doing such a terrific job on our new HD studio. Oh, oh.